It's a dip. You're headed to Lestalem, right? I'll take you there, but no further. Got it. So, ready to ship out? You bet. Let's fly. Hold on tight, boys. Uh, look at that! A red yeah. ship. Rise and shine, Prince Charming. We're here. Sounds like a spot of troubles popped up at the power plant. Hmm, wish I could help, but I'm powerless to do anything I'm not ordered to. I'll leave the keeping of the peace to you. Of course. We got this. Good luck, boys. Loving that outfit, Nox. Why don't you wear one? Well, that's the only one. And if anyone stands a fighting chance in there, it's you. Forget about fashion and go. <clears throat> Testing. Do you read?
freed me. Just wanted to thank you for offering to clear out those demons. That'll give me time to treat this mithril for you. There's a hunter who went in right ahead of you. I imagine there are too many for one to handle. But two of you should be fine. And a little heads up, we're getting some unstable readings from the generators inside. Too much power and the whole place could blow, so be quick. Will do. So, you my backup? I thought we were partners. Anyway, place is crawling with demons. Wait a second. You sound familiar. Save the talk. We got hunting to do. Now, if we're done with the introductions, follow me. Keep it up. Will do. Now, let's scram. Great work in there. As promised, here's your mithril. 
And, uh, thank you for your hard work. Sure. Hey, big guy! So the hunter who went on ahead... The one and only. <laughs> How you been, fellas? Oh, not bad. Oh, someone did a number on you, though. You should see the other guy. Anyway, I'm back. And better than ever. Knocked? Gladdy? I can't believe it! Hey, thanks for looking after her, Dustin. So, Gladdy, did you apologize to Noct for storming off like that? He made it up to me in there. The power plant? Oh, so you got your hands on some mithril. In that case, I'll go deliver it to Sid. You'll probably want to freshen up first anyway. Come and meet me in Kayam when you're ready. Everything in order. Yep. Mm-hmm.
I might have asked before, but is Ebony really all that good? I might have answered before, but yes it is. Looking forward to Iris' cooking. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Aw, oh, don't be that way. It's different when a girl cooks for you. It's weird. Ravis has a sword, but doesn't use it. <laughs> he doesn't use it because he can't. Who the hell's he think it belonged to? Why does he bother carrying it at all? Thank you. 
next time. That's it. What's what? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. gone? Yeah. The car got roomier. Smart ass. Shot with the lighthouse, hair blowing in the breeze, we'll be seaside supermodels. Not really feeling it. Maybe another time. Oh, but I wanted to be a seaside supermodel. Aranea. She's a little different. Certainly doesn't fit the Imperial Army profile. Hey there. It's not perfect, but there's no place like home. Good news, Noct. Our garden is up and running. So, Noct, you gonna put your green thumb to the test? And do what with it? Uh, grow vegetables? You can eat them or sell them if you want. Fine, so what do I do? It all starts with a seed. Here, try these. How you doing, Talcott? Good, Prince Noctis. <laughs> What's that there? Oh, this thing? It's a cactuar figurine. I really like cactuars. Oh. You can buy them in different places and in different colors. I want to finish the collection, but I still need a yellow one and a blue one. I guess you wouldn't have seen them at any shops, have you? Oh, sorry, no. I never paid attention to them before. Oh, well, of course you wouldn't. But I will from now on. If I see the colors you're missing, I'll grab them for you. Really? Thank you! find some way to track down the cactuars for him. Gotta say, though, it's a pretty grown-up hobby for a little guy. Perhaps we could survey some shops while we're still in Lucis. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Take a shot from here. Oh, this lighting's no good. Maybe next time. We saw in Galden. Oh, you're 
Claus sure brought you a long way from home, little guy. You must be hungry after all that walking. No restaurants around, though. I wonder if anyone around here knows a thing or two about cat food. Why don't you try asking Monica? She mentioned having kept several cats back home. Wow, and she never gave off a crazy cat lady vibe. I hope we don't have to go all the way back to Galden. Especially after the cat came all the way to Kayam. What drew him here anyway? His dear friend knocked, of course. Let me tell you, Imperial Hardware is a right pain to take apart. Ain't no mystery I can't unravel, though. You slacking off? Let me tell you, Imperial Hardware is a right pain to take apart. Ain't no mystery I can't unravel, though. If y'all are having car trouble, Cindy's your girl. All right, I'll give you a call when it's ready. My aching back. Ah, y'all brace yourself for power. Oh. Doctors, even the marshal came to say goodbye. I guess it's goodbye for now. Something I gotta get off my chest. <sighs> What's that? I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. I swore an oath to protect the king, but I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. <sighs> Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah. I realize that. But you need to realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. I do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Trust in them, always. You can never have too many tools. Here, learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well. Just remember, it's a destructive force that doesn't discriminate. 
I suggest putting someone in charge of it. Waiting for an invitation? Get your asses on board! Hey! Your Majesty! What's up? Please! Come back soon! We need our king! <laughs> yeah! Count on it! The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian, and you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya.
No. That obstinate secretary, standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. You know, I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing. We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's all right before anything else. Indeed. Her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Lunafrey is in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith their ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the ring, the crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm. I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Lunafrey came to have the ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time. All the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravus. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion. But in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. There's a disturbing rumor about Lord Ravus has taken to brandishing His Majesty's sword. My dad. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Ravus wears the sword, but doesn't wield it. Hmm. For all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog, holding on to the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. I can say. What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They failed a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. They'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. Never know which way that one's gonna move next. The Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps. Like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Well, feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type? No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I was long gone from the city. Must have been invited at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. 
Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but you're all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. It was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Now you must have seen your fair share of Altitia by now. Yeah. Only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big. Okay. Well, it ain't the crown city. Different. Got it. We'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Change the scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altitia now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Lodging's our first order of business. All work and no play makes Ignis a dull boy. Someone has to babysit you, too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey, now. Westcombe. Ran with Reggie and me way back when. Oh! Was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yeah. Runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. Does the place have a name? McGee or Magoo or uh, Mago. That's the one. Nice. You can count on Old West, but <laughs> he'll chew your ears off. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Got a signal! Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Lady Luna Freya's gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, Locked. Yeah. Does this vessel have an entry permit? Uh, entry permit? Relax. I got one. Here. That's as old as they get. Seems in order. You may pass. Prepared in advance. Could say that. Thirty odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly. walls of water, but it ain't just the walls, it's the whole damn city. Which is why we can't traverse the town by conventional means. We'll need to rely on gondolas instead. Yay! More boats. Hey, not huh? this. Catch. Uh, oh. Key to the boat. What? Don't you want to go sailing again? Are you sure? 
Why not? Old girl ought to be sturdy enough. Not even an awful driver like Reggie could sink her. A king can't rule with wisdom alone. He needs perspective. So get out there and see the world, you hear? What's next? Immigration? What do you mean? There's still more? Sir, what is the purpose of your visit? Purpose, uh... Ignis, a little help? <sighs> Utterly hopeless. We are scholars of the Conry Arts, and we've come to study the renowned cuisine of your fair nation. Is that so? I wish you an enlightening stay. Another one you owe me. Check Westcombe's place out. Yeah, let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. Then we'd better start looking now. Let's take a look inside. It's a photographer's dream. What a city. Photo. I know just the place, and it's close. Save it for later. Hey there. Have a good look.
See you later. That's it. What's what? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> I could taste test for you. Fantastic! Call when you need a ride back! Huh. Is it evening already? Time flies when you're having fun. Million Gill question. What are we eating?
Welcome to Okoro, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Wuskam Armor, as you've gathered. My word, you've grown, little prince. Hmm. Ah, but of course. <laughs> you were only a babe at the time. He just stood there, staring at the church and looking all sad. Can you blame him? His sister was supposed to get married there. But he knew what was going to happen that day. He could have at least warned her. Well, what if he wanted to but couldn't? Must be eating him up inside. So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. You really think Luna will make an address? If every recent radio broadcast is to be trusted, absolutely. Where is Lady Luna Freya? In the city somewhere. But no one has caught so much as a glimpse of her. The media has been conspicuous in its silence on the matter, which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled Imperial officers leaving the city. So you see lots of NIFs around here? We do, sometimes even at my place. Theirs is a familiar presence, and the citizens don't think much of it. Though the High Commander did cause a stir when he showed up the other day. Ravis. So soon after they fell the Archean and Lucis, his arrival fuels rumors that they will next come to Altisha. The Empire's not content ruling all the land. They want the heavens as well. Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now, it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. In preparation for the right. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question. If they're anticipating that the Hydrian will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, my dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Klostra. First Secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, Come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times, but I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh, okay. At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. The view's even better from a gondola. Huh? 
She doesn't rub shoulders with the Empire by choice. Everybody knows she wants independence. Thank you. 